Ray Lewis, <laughs> Shannon, let me start with you. Uh, does Gates have a point? No, he don't have a point. And to Jay Cutler's credit, that is the only play he executed that day. <laughs> I thought Adam... That's not true. It is! That's ridiculous. What was the score of this ball game, Skip? Refresh the people's memory. They 20 to mean. nothing. So you mean to tell me this man had to they play for a whole game of football, 60 minutes of football? So you're saying he missed every play that they called? I'm zero for what, right? I'm saying he did not execute the offense. Uh -huh. If the quarterback, the most important position, the most important player, can't get his team in field goal range. No, the point is you told me the Saints were going to be historically bad on defense, and now back-to-back -back weeks they've been really good on defense. I mean, look at play. Huh? Well, you don't score uh -huh. no points. Hell, I can be good <laughs> I mean, on defense. You? Yeah. Let me finish my point. First of all, I fought Adam Gates for this. So he should tell you a little something about what he thinks mm -hmm. of this offense and, and Jay Cutler. Mm -hmm. Four minutes into the ball game, mm -hmm. they run in the gadget play yep. with their starting quarterback. Now, have I seen Tom Brady be out there? Absolutely. But I guarantee you they're not running this four, play, four minutes into the ball game. And then he got, he got his hands on his hips. Mm -hmm. So that would have you diagrammed it. I know he said, look, I don't want you to put yourself in harm's way. Mm -hmm. I want you to stand there with your hands on your hips and pretend like, what? I mean, can you fool him? Make him think that we might throw you a pass, and then you throw it down the field. Mm -hmm. But that'd be asking too much. That'd be too much like right. Mm. Feel like my grandma would say, "Boy, that's too much like right for you to do right." Thing. Mm. <laughs> Skip, this is a shit. And you defend this. This is what happens at Vanderbilt. When you go to Vanderbilt, I spoken when yet. you go to Vanderbilt, Did I defend it. <laughs> this is Van this this is Va Vanderbilt. Oh, this is Vanderbilt. Why? Oh, should, okay. why should we be yeah. surprised? Huh. You Did got you ever watch Jay Cutler at Vanderbilt when he was the SEC Offensive Player of the Year his last year there? Have you, ever, have you ever seen a tougher SEC quarterback than Jay Cutler was when he was running over linebackers at Florida and Tennessee? Check it out. Pull the tape. I, I'm gonna pull, I pulled the tape for the last 11 years yeah. that he's been in the NFL. I pulled that tape. You want to see that? You don't think he's been tough in the NFL? Yeah, yeah he ain't won no ball games. I don't want tough. You, I'm know, what, winners. you know what? First of all, when you, when, you think of, when you hear the story now, when you hear Adam Gates talk about this, it's almost crazy that they would come out and say this, like, right now. Like, like, yeah, I told them to stand there and absolutely do nothing. I mean, that just feels so great to people who are actually putting their physical body on the line every play. Right. To actually go get something done. And, and, if, you, and if you're Jay Cutler, I just ask you this question. You wouldn't be offended if somebody else put their hands on their hips yeah. in the middle of a play? Like, I, it's just, it's like... If this is Drew Brees, this is Tom Brady, this is anybody else, we're not having this conversation. But to, for him to carry that posture on a football field that a live play is being ran, like you can you can line up in a wide receiver position. Everybody know how to line up in a wide receiver position. Exactly. Yeah. Hands on his feet. Yeah. I mean, for, for, for just for him to take that approach, mm. Skip, you, you got to actually, if I'm coming back to the huddle or if I'm on the sideline, I'm like, that's, my, that's the quarterback of this team? That's mm -hmm. him. With his hands on his hips, I mean, doing a play that we know, right, what Adam came out and said, we know for a fact, right, that he's saying, look, I told him not to get involved in this play. Yeah. I told him not to go hit nobody. I get that. But you can at least act like you're involved, you're engaged, and not on South Beach just hanging out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> defend so your guy. I am not going to defend my guy in the big picture, but in the very smallest picture about this play. They're exactly right, because by the letter of the law, he did what he should have done, which is nothing. Give yourself up before the ball is snapped. Look like you're not involved in the play, so that guy can't come and take a cheap shot at you. And you have said, anytime you have a shot at a quarterback on an interception return or whatever, you're going to take that shot, right? Yeah, but with his hands on his hips, that, that's... Okay. that's the wide receiver stance. Right? Yeah. Just give it up, because even if you retreat on the play like you're going to catch a screen pass, that guy can come and get you. If you take one step across the line of scrimmage, he can come and get you. He can take his shot at you, right? Yes. Okay, so clearly Adam Gaze had Coach Cutler just give it up. And unfortunately, we're all about optics in this business. Optics. optics. And so Jay Cutler fed right into his reputation for he doesn't give a you-know-what yeah. about anything. Yep. So it fed right in. And so Twitter goes crazy. Did you see Jay Cutler with his hands on his hips? And I will give you this. I'm sure Jay didn't love the play call because I don't know any quarterback who loves having to trot out there to the flank and even impersonate a wide receiver because they want to be under center taking the shotgun snap or the straight snap. Right. Yeah. You, you think he loved that play call, what it was early in the game? You think all his teammates love him being quarterback? No. And the truth is he's starting to look like 
He had retired. Yeah. So psychologically, he looks like his mind retired, and, and he's trying to get it back. And even standing, back. even standing out there, mm -hmm. you wouldn't you wouldn't be excited for the play to be successful. Wouldn't you want the play to work? If unless, you're a quarterback, unless you're so proud of being the quarterback that you don't want that play called. I mean, even if even if you run over there, and let's say let's say a guy breaks and he mm -hmm. he runs for says, I mean, you're not running downfield clapping. You're not doing none of that. You're not. Hey, you're not, you're if, not you run, if you run downfield clapping, somebody's going to clap you. First of all, skip. Right? Stop. <laughs> well, am I right? Is somebody going to hit you? You know, you know what, Ray? I'm gonna tell you. My grandpa used to tell me and my brother. He said, "Boy, y'all ain't got to do nothing. Just don't do it around me." Boy, you're full of grandfather, grandma. Jay Cutler, you ain't got to do nothing. Just don't do it out here. Uh. You're going to put your hands on your yeah, hips. Yeah. I, who, who haven't been a part of, if you play offense, mm -hmm. everybody has been a part of the sky. We Shannon, you don't have no, mm -hmm. but I'm not finna go stand. Right. Hey, but this is one guy. Don't question his toughness. There were years he was the most sacked quarterback in football, and he just kept bouncing right back up and playing another play. I don't question his toughness. Mm -hmm. I do question his mm -hmm. desire. To be great. I'll give you that. There are a lot of tough guys. Yeah. But how many of them desire have that burning passion? Mm -hmm. You tell me when you've seen that burning desire for him to be great and not just go pick up a chick. I've seen him be great before. I don't know if he had burning desire, but he has greatness in him because he can flat out, he can still he got a lot. He got a lot of stuff in him. Yeah. He got a lot of stuff. Yeah. You talking one hand. Or right, he being great. Dude been in the league 12 years. You count on one hand how many times he's been great. Mm. What about the time he's been yucking it up? What about the time the coach you love the most, Mike Shanahan, traded up in the draft to take him 11th overall? Yeah. What do you think of that, Mike? Huh? My, my. Why did Mike trade up to get him? Because he didn't like the quarterback that he had. Oh. He owes it to his football team, to that organization and the fan base, to try to find the best fit. So was Mike players. Shanahan a fool? No. No? But you sometimes you – and I tell people this all the time. Mm -hmm. You never know what you have on a player till you get him in mm -hmm. your building and put him in that uniform. Then you will find out. And he, guess what? Mike Shanahan had to find out. Lovey Smith had to find out. What's the other coach? Mark Tresman had to find out. John Fox had to find out. Jay Cutler made a Pro Bowl for Mike Shanahan. I mean, think about this, Skip. There's a, there's a, there's a recurrent. There's a <laughs> well, he did. He made a Pro Bowl. You're a Jay Cutler fan. Huh? He Who's went to Jay Vanderbilt. My school. Hey, he no. Here's the thing, though. For, listen, for two years when he's at Vanderbilt on the old show I did, I used to say, this guy's going to be able to play in this league, and they just laughed at me. He can't play in the NFL. Oh, no. Watch. Five coaches. He's still in the NFL. Five coaches and nine offensive coordinators have lost their job. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the common denominator in all that, Skip? There's a guy that played quarterback at Vanderbilt. Mm -hmm. Been in the league for 12 years. Do you think Adam Gaze is a fool? Think he's an idiot? Hmm? If he thought Jay Cutler could come out of retirement to help him get to the playoffs, he absolutely is what you just said. Did he lose his starting quarterback? Yes, he did. I don't care. Mm -hmm. So let me get the hold on. Matt Moore's been in the league. He he took over for what you call him last year. Mm -hmm. Won a couple of games. Uh, Ryan, Tanner. Ryan, mm -hmm. Ryan Tannehill. Yep. Won you a couple of games. You going to go get a guy out of retirement. That's going to the playoff who, one time. Who, who had his best year under your tutelage in Chicago two years ago. And the mere fact that you're talking about he had his best year, mm -hmm. which was some, and he didn't even finish the year. But that's neither here nor there. We're not talking about his inability to stay on the field. Mm -hmm. We're talking about his ability to be consistent, mm -hmm. game in and game mm -hmm. out, year in and year out. Mm -hmm. So if Adam Gaze thought that guy mm -hmm. could come out of retirement and take him to where he needed to be. Whatever you said, you asking me, do I think Adam Gaze is out of his mind? I absolutely mm. do. Did you pick the Yankees to beat the Indians? What does that got to do with him? It has a lot to do. Who's on the mound for the Yankees tonight? You picked them. I got the, I got huh? the Indians now. Oh, you got <laughs> the No. Sonny Gray from Vanderbilt. I mean, we, we got them everywhere. We, Every time you look up, somebody from Vanderbilt is doing something great in some sport. You know, I like the name. So now we're supporting Vanderbilt. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I like Sonny because we used to have a Hampshire. A Hampshire. You know what a Hampshire is? Yeah. It's a hall. Yeah. They had one named Sonny. Weighed about 580 pounds. 580? Yeah, my grandfather sold him because, you know, he had tusks about this long. So because of that, you like Sonny like Gray Sonny. from Vanderbilt. Ever since, ever since then, we used to ride Sonny. Sense. Me and my brother used to ride Sonny in the yard. Could you so stay like on Sonny for very long? Uh, until he started picking up speed. <laughs> <laughs> then he choked us off. But uh, Jay Cutler, Skip, you need to stop this. I'm not stopping anything. I, I just Skip. told you. Ray, you can't many... defend that. You can't defend that. I can do sure. that. I can sure. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. How many times have you seen a guy come out of retirement? Yeah. In that sport, and be successful. True. No. No. Once you've been out, once you've given up mentally, psychologically, once you 
cut the tie. You know, you, you, he was done. It's a he was game. here. Especially, a, a, especially a guy that showed you apathy for the game when he played. Right. When he was that you already questioned. Yeah, right. you already. Right. So the guy gonna be kicked up with his heel. He out there with you know, sunning it up. Yeah. Like he's like, Jay, we got five million for the comeback. Nope. Jay, we got eight million. Nope. We got ten million. Nope. Jay, we got fifteen million. What I sign. Mm. Right. And I can just be me. Nobody expect me to do anything. I mean, did did he force Adam Gaze to sign? No. Okay. No. no this is uh. This is Gase's mess now. Right. Yeah. Right. Explain yourself. If I'm Stephen Ross, I call him in the office. You got to live with it now. Call, I, I'll call him in my office. Hey. I thought you just said it was early. It's too early to panic. You just said that about the Oh, this is not Cowboys. changing. This, oh, is, this I, is the rest I, of the I, season. No, I ain't panicking. This I got, I got 11 years of tape on this. Oh, okay. I got 11 years of tape. You no, know, he's, he, he's going to be the quarterback for the rest of the season. Mm. Ray, thanks for joining us. Uh, good luck with that, Joy. Thank you. Cam Newton made some <laughs> offensive, offensive comments yesterday. We'll discuss that next.